Today on The Joy of Editing, we're taking a look at the Color Effects Glamour Glow Filter. It adds a soft, dreamy glow that works beautifully on portraits, flowers, and landscapes. I'll show you how to use it for natural results without going over the top. Hello and welcome to The Joy of Editing. Today we're diving into the Glamour Glow Filter in Nick Color Effects. Now this filter is a favorite among photographers because it adds a soft, beautiful glow that can transform your images with a dreamy, atmospheric look. Whether you're editing flowers, portraits, or even landscapes, Glamour Glow is perfect for enhancing light and mood in a really elegant way. Let's take a closer look at how it works and how to keep it looking natural. If you'd like to pick up any DxO software, you can use my affiliate link in the description. Be sure to enter my promo code Dave Kelly to save 15% off all DxO software. It helps support the channel and I really appreciate it. Now the Glamour Glow Filter. You'll notice we have a glow slider. Let's start out with that. If you drag this to the right, you're going to start to add that dreamy glow to your image. Now don't overdo because It'll look really bad if you do. So be careful here. But start out by just starting to pull this up. And then what I like to do, you'll note that the saturation starts to increase a bit. That may look good. It may not. In this case, I think it's too strong. So I'll pull back on that saturation a little bit, just like that. And let your eyes guide you. Let the photograph speak to you. It'll let you know how much you need to put there. We can add some coolness to the image if you want to, depending what look you're looking for, or you may want to add some warmth. I think I want to add a little bit of warmth. And now you have shadow and highlight protection. If your shadows are starting to block up, just take the shadow slider and start to drag it to the right. So they start to be protected. They're not getting that really dark look anymore. I like a little bit of that, but if it's too strong, you can protect the shadows by moving this slider to the right. And the same goes for highlights. If the highlights are getting too affected, you can drag the highlight slider over and then stop where you think it looks really good. And I think maybe right about there. I'll uncheck Glamour Glow. We'll see it before. Here's before and here's after. I really like it. Maybe it's a bit too strong. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back on the glow a little bit to maybe somewhere right about here. So that's how Glamour Glow can beautifully enhance flowers with a soft, dreamy touch. Now let's move on to a landscape example where this filter can really bring out atmosphere and mood into the scene. I've zeroed out the slider so you can clearly see what each adjustment is doing. We saw how it works on flowers. Now let's take a look at a landscape and see how Glamour Glow adds mood and atmosphere. Now, the way I like to work with this filter, I like to start at the top with a glow and work my way down. So let's add some glow. Don't be afraid to add a little bit too much. We can always readjust. Again, let that image speak to you. It'll let you know what it needs. Let's start out here. Now, I do kind of like the saturation. Let's leave it for now. Now let's go to glow warmth. Okay, so we can cool it down. Do we like that look more mysterious or do we want to warm it up, make it look a little more happy and joyful? Maybe let's warm it up a little bit. Maybe somewhere right about here. Now let's look at shadows. Do we want to add some protection? Maybe a little bit. They're getting a little too dark and blocked up. So let's pull this to the right and stop about where it looks good. And I think maybe right about here looks good. I think the highlights are okay, but let's pull it over and see what effect we get. It's not doing too much, but maybe let's add a little bit of highlight protection. Maybe right here. Now let's shut off Glamour Glow. Here's before and here's after. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. It might be a little too strong. You don't want to go too crazy here. So I think I'll pull it back. And now I think right here looks really good. Let's see a before and after. I'll uncheck Glamour Glow. Here's before and here's after. Hey, it reminds me of Sherwood Forest. What do you think? I really like it. If you're enjoying these Nick Color Effects tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos or the next giveaway. We've seen how Glamour Glow works on flowers and landscapes. Now let's finish up with a portrait where this filter is especially popular for adding that soft, flattering glow to skin tones. Let's check it out. Let's start adding some glow here. And I think maybe I'll start out about here. Let's go a little strong and work on this. Too much saturation. Let's pull that back. 
Let's let it look really natural, maybe somewhere right around here. It's already looking really good. Now, do we want to cool it down? Do we want to warm it up? Maybe I'll just warm it slightly, not too much. Maybe right about here, I think, should be good. Let's work in the shadows. Let's protect those a little bit. Let's move this to the right. And I think maybe right about here looks pretty good. Now, we can work in the highlights. Just tame those down a little bit. We'll protect them. I'll move the highlight slider to the right and stop where we think it looks good. And I think maybe right here looks really natural. Let me shut off the glow filter. Here's before, here's after. Isn't that beautiful, that nice, beautiful glamour glow? It might be a little too strong. Let me pull it back a little bit. And I think maybe right about here should be good. Again, I'll shut it off. Here's before, here's after. Now, I don't like the glamour glow effect in the eye, but we can protect those. We could use a control point, a negative control point. Here's how we do it. Come down to local adjustments. Click this button right here. Hold down your option key. Let's go right in the center of the eye while holding down that option or alt key. Give it one click and we have a negative control point. Now, it's too big, so take this adjustment slider, drag it to the left and make it as close to the size of the eye as you can. Now we can also adjust it. We can make it more oval shape and we can curve it, something like that. But what I like to do next is take the luminance slider, take it the whole way to the left, take the chrominance slider, take it the whole way to the left. That way we're getting the entire eye. If you look at the mask, I'll click this button right here. You can see we're taking that eye out, right? Click this button again, we can see the image back. Now hold your option or Alt key down, click and drag it over to this eye. And now we can center this a little better. And now we're protecting both of those eyes. So both of those eyes are not getting the glamour glow adjustment. Now let's take one last look. I think I want a little bit more saturation. So let's pull this up a little bit to maybe right here looks pretty good. Now let me shut off glamour glow. Here's before and here's after. I really like it. So there you go. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on the Glamour Glow Filter. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and choose all so you'll be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. I truly want to thank each and every one of you for joining me here on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.